Welcome everybody to the final two matches of this league. We're playing against uh, Hollow One, Discard stuff, Mono Red. Kind of fun match. I don't know if you ever played against that. It's definitely quite the, the coin flip, the, the matchup. And finally, we're playing against, we're playing the mirror against Highland Skills, where we, yeah, we had to see, they actually in Lurus Highland Skills, and we're playing, uh, yeah, the green, blue green Highland Skills, and yeah, let's see what which version works better. If you like the content please like comment subscribe i really appreciate it you can catch me live on twitch or on youtube depending on if i have a lot of time or go on twitch if i don't have a lot of time i'll just go to youtube but yeah thanks for watching and get the matches yeah welcome everybody to match four of this league we're currently two and one we lost pretty valid to jump last round but we're gonna make up for it right now so missy four is not ideal but i guess it can help us in case it gets discarded so i'll keep it uh, no that one drop is kind of a mess, but whatever. Burning increase. Oh no! Our nice hand. Ah, we get one. No, oh, we lost two lands. This guy a hollow one. We're playing. A, he's playing it in this against this hollow one file that I guess people love. I don't know how to call it really. It's just. They cast a bunch of burning increase and stuff like this, and then they sometimes hollow one three times in one game in one turn and then beat you that way. Fascinating. Yeah. They discard a bunch of cards, they even have ox. What is land? And that sucks so bad. We have lands in play. That's so like Thank you, God. Thank you. So that's unfortunate. We had two lands in hand, and they made us discard two lands from our hand when they got this burning inquiry. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, son. And then they can just ox like almost nothing. That's pretty brutal. Like, I mean, I, I, I really dislike this deck. Like, I mean, it feels like this deck is just, uh, it's just pure like coin flip. Like if you have the, the Nautilus draw, you win. And if you don't, not, you lose. So if bolting us, sure. Threat. I go, they will ox now. Well, that's such a beautiful hand too. At least got three, four cards. So there's some, yeah, we cannot do anything. So this card, okay. How do they cast this? So, I got a phoenix down, but they cannot cast it, so whatever. Come on, mate, land. We have two green sources. They, you know, like, they know, like, they have to know this game, they just got lucky. Because they discarded two lands and we missed two land drops in a row. Ugh, Storm Herald. When Storm Herald ends up out the field, doing, ah, okay, that's how they kill us. With that, means any number of horrors, so it will become a 20. Lost. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is uh, I remember now. I played against this once. Yeah, missing land drops. I mean, they, they basically start with burning inquiry and discarded two lines from our hand. Rough. Extreme rough. So this is mono red, I guess this deck, so Will Summer doesn't do anything. This member dots. Uh nothing else. Maybe Thomas Crypt. Yeah. Thomas So let's see what is not good. So this is not a grindy matchup, but I'll keep one Mystic Forge. Take out and steerings. Travel steerings. Silver Seal, I'll leave it on the play as I normally do. I guess I'm gonna cut the welding jar. Um, nah, I think the sculpture is good. Guys, I got one Embry. Um, I don't know. 
Maybe I don't want three trauma script just in case I draw too many of them. This member seems good to deal with the uh, Storm Herald, I guess. Or at least to deal with anything that that aura gets attached to. Uh, mm, so yes, that's good. Keep. Now the question is. Like the question is, do we play the Dormant Script or not? Or do we risk it being discarded? Because that's real. The discard is real. So they kept 7 as well. I'm just gonna play the scales. Should I play these or should I not? Okay, not this time. I will not show it to them. Maybe just start with Burning Inquiry and. Okay. It gets plus what plus what plus one plus zero. Okay. I'm gonna play the Ozolith and the Worker. I'll gladly block it. I cannot block it, it has mana. Maybe it's just dead. Hopefully not. Maybe it's just Actually, we can kill them next turn if they tap out. We got a billion. So if they tap out and they attack, well, they will attack, right? Um, if they don't cast anything else, I think we can kill them with the Ravager and the Tormo script. Right, this will be four. No, it's not. Not at all. What am I, what am I saying? I don't see anything we should be particularly worried about in the graveyard. So, okay, let's say we play Thomas Creep and Ravager. Sack it, it's a 4 4. Put the counters over. Mm, it's a 6 6, that's only 10 now. Um. I'm not worried of dying next. That's the main thing. Mm. Okay, I will attack with the worker to set ourselves up. I'll play a crypt and the ballista and play the ravager next turn. I don't even know if I want... Do I want to play the Ravager? I think I want to actually play the Ravager. I will stop. Mm. I don't have anything too scary, but they're not like giving the chance, right? Oh, if they discard a million cards, I guess they can get this very big guy. Uh, I'll play the Ravager. Just because it allows me to. I'm getting, I'm really lagging. I don't know if it's only me or just the world. Hmm. I don't know. Can I, can I go to Facebook, for example? Checking if the internet connection is stable. Doesn't seem to be. But my daughter seems to be working. We're back. We were like lagging for a second. So, lost in mire. Three minus. Storm held. 
Some are enters the battlefield, return any number over the graveyard to the battlefield, attach to creatures you control, like double zars at the end, beginning of your next end step. Is there any aura? Can see a single aura? Right? One that's three, and can we have some? I'm gonna block. I'm gonna either. Oh, I'm just gonna either work, right? What could they have? They have no mana. Nice lands. I like those. So I'll sacrifice the worker. Always yield. Okay, this is in the back. I know with other sanctity. This my my internet is not collaborating today. So I'll go to combat. Yeah. Can you come see? All right, last game. Tournament script seemed okay. This member is also okay. He made this member. I think I like this configuration. I don't even know if I want Mystic Forge. It seems to be too slow for this matchup. May I prefer the Embry so we can. Um, yeah, we're gonna loop this. Silver Seer seems a bit slow, to be honest. I just want a Dharma script. Okay, I'll be right back and finish this. Oh, okay. Thought I had to meet it. Yeah. Seems like internet is holding up. So I'm gonna stop Steam. I don't even know why I have it on. It's probably it's a lot of resources. On the draw, this matchup gets harder. Sure. Play first, oh boy, this hand is just not doing it, I think. Eh? It's not doing it at all, <laughs> in fact. I think I sided out uh, one Mystic, no, both Mystic Forges. I don't know. Now thinking about it, maybe I should have sided out one of the Throne of Gets. That's good, this is a good hand. I just need to think what to bring to put down. It's either, it's one of these two. I'm moving into six. Hmm. This member also kills. It also kills cards that are not like graveyard based. Yeah, I'm keeping this. The Tormod Scriber really stops their, their, yeah, their mana. 
So what? Let's see. We play turn one. This turn two. Ravager with crit. We can yeah, maybe turn three. Ravager with crit. So this member will take damage. Okay, I'll, I'll put the. I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure what you guys would have done, but I think this is fine. They don't seem to be playing any interaction at all. They're just going for it, right? I think with the Thomas creep we can probably stop their most nutty things. Oh, forgotten cave. We can cycle. Okay. Uh, there's no way I will need double green next turn, so I'm gonna play Enigma Nexus, play Ozzoli. So my plan is play uh, Ballista and Thomas creep next turn. On the turn after, play the Ravager and maybe go for an Olin turn 4. Not maybe, let's go for an Olin turn. Okay. Yeah, they also play Lightning Bolt, that's the, the thing we need to be careful about. But, wait, okay, this is actually not good. Mm. I'm, I'm almost happy. With of course, we're gonna play last next turn. I'm gonna cast this now. Mm. So with Ravager, I'm looking for with Ravager, we can sack one, two to the counters. That's three, three. Yeah, I should play the Ballista. I was probably a mistake. I should play the Ballista. Oh, wow, Lightning Axe. Okay, they put this here. Sure. We can always respond to the trigger of the dude entering the battle. So. But yeah, I would rather play the Ballista, get a counter here. Much better line, actually. Much better line, and then next time we can play both Ravager and that. So, Phoenix flying haze when we attack each comedy fable at the beginning of combat on your turn. Yeah, well, this is the 2 2. The end. You have to attack. And not attack. Rocking. I mean, we can always dismember it, I guess, and, and, and kill it, so... Do I like Ravager better? I can play Ravager or Ballista. Yeah, I think I like, I like Ballista better. I can play... I can... You know, if they do something crazy, I can dismember the Phoenix and then cryptic. I uh, too much crypt the rest. Mm. We're both low on cards. I regret putting that Mystic Forge away. Huh. Interesting game, man. Eh? I don't know. If, hopefully, I'm still recording. Yeah. I'll take it. Uh, two damages. Four lands. I are falling a little bit. Problem if we do this of playing the theme of sculpture is that we don't we cannot hold on this member anymore. I should attack first. I'll attack first. But if we play this, then next turn actually we, it's looking good, the all in. Yes. Yeah, I can always stop it, I guess. Yeah. I'll play this. We have the Thomas Creep as an insurance. 
Yes. So with, you can have you can pay one mana to have a one one ballista. That's the kind of the idea. That it it if if you have two Ethereum sculptures, they go, you can pay zero and have a added reunion. They cannot cast locks yet. They need. You want to get you with power four greater, you can get pay right. Okay. So they discarded Eldrazi Conscriptor and Ox of Agonus. Constrictor. Yeah, so basically the idea with the Ethereum Sculpture is that it lowers the cost of all your artifacts, including uh, the X costing artifacts. So that means a Ballista for one costs. So for X equals one costs one, etc. So it actually like it, it works pretty well together. Um, draw four cards, then discard. Uh, Okay, Sea Ray, Storm Herald, Ox of Avanus, Lightning Axe. I don't want them to cast this Ox of Avanus. So, yeah, for example, now this Ethereum sculpture will cost uh, one only to cast, of course. So, my idea is that. The only thing we're worried about is the Ox. But it's quite worrying. They have already two Eldrazi's things. Um, what about going all in? How do we feel about that? So I can activate one Exus. That's one, two. That will be three, four. So one, two, one, two, three, four. So five, five. Move here. That's actually an all in. But do they? If they have the bolt. I think that's kind of bad. So, hmm. yeah, I'm just gonna play this theme of sculpture. <laughs> just attack them, and on their upkeep, I think I'm going to uh, dismember the thing. And exile their graveyard. Are these things instants? I don't even know if they're instant. I can, I can mostly ignore this. I think I can actually just ignore that. Hmm. I don't want them to cast the Ox, of course. That would be kind of the worst. Mm. So I will exile it on their turn. I'll exile the graveyard now. Don't really care so much about this guy. At least for now. I, I would rather save this member. If they now discard their hand and then they... Maybe you can cast a normal Octavagonus, that would be rather... What do you think? Huh. But we have lethal next turn, so... I'm, I'm like looking for, for that kill, right? So if they cast a, just straight up cast an Octavagonus, we can dismember it. And then we kill them turn after. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Anger of the gods. Gods are angry. Take this. Those are excessive.
I'm not I'm not gonna fall for the la for the I'm I'm just gonna sacrifice the bullet. I can kill them with the emote next. Oh it will not, but I have a uh, yeah. They of course can still um Storm Herald. Hey, they didn't, they, so they didn't have the bolt. Hmm. Uh, sure. I can dismember it now, or I can save it. I'll dismember it, and I have the kill with the in one. All right, so that was the best line possible. So you have the kill. With the uh, Inmoth uh, Ozolith combination. Just wanted to play around Bolt, basically. So I sacrifice the Ravager, yes. Put the counters on the Inmoth. I think that was a good line. Do they see it? Hold on next. Does this annoy you, the keyboard? Does this annoy you, YouTube? Comment down below. Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break and for sure I will edit it out and I'll see you in a bit. I did. All right. We are three and one. This is the list if somebody's wondering. And I'm gonna make it view nicer. So basically, the, the difference between this main deck and the normal deck is the uh, is the yeah we associated the theorem sculpture we chose the metallic mimics animation modules and one thing of get for Embry theorem sculpture and mystic forge that gives us access to blue on the sideboard we did not use this I was really looking forward to using the ceremonies rejections but we didn't uh, Mystical Dispute didn't come up. Like the only game that we had it, we just didn't draw a single line. So, whatever. Actually, I think it was maybe this deck, we lost pretty badly against Junt, and maybe this deck does need the Veil of Summer to beat Junt because we don't have an animation module. Well, let's see. So far, so good. This deck, I mean, the discard Hollow One deck is so random, you know, like sometimes they will just. Uh, I don't know why. I have to get the notification. Okay, this hands good. We are on the draw. But this hands good. We have Lurus. Wow. Lurus of the Dream. We play him against Burn. Are you telling me we are against Burn? Or Prowlers or something? Uh, I will remove that stop and then keep. And when you remove the stop, it. Oh! It's a mirror, mirror match. They also have scales. <laughs> All right, but we have secret, secret uh, technology. We're playing the mirror to end the day. Kind of fun, I guess. Uh, if this goes an answer, it kind of wins the game. Let's see what they play. Another welling jar. That's a lot of welling jars. The nozzle. I'm not sure. Do I want to play the, the steel over here? I think I almost do. We don't have an answer for it. Next turn, we run away with it. Hmm. Two lands. No, at least, please. Okay. Oh, they get lures in hand? That's just like that. Oh. Sure, I I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week, mate. Oh, wow. Check this out. It's not really that impressive, I guess, but... We play Theorem of Sculpture. We play Ballista for X equals 1. Uh huh. Then we put counters. Tonight they play the Lourdes, it just dies. They are sad. 
And then from here, I think the Orsiers will take out the game, take over the game. Nice. So they have three cards in hand, one of them is Lurus, and they just... GG. Sure, okay, so, Cyborg. So my money is a reduction. See how that goes. Nature's Coins. I will not even bring in the dismembers, I think that would be excessive. Golden Jar. Maybe Golden Jar is good, I don't know. So, on the draw, I'll take out the Steel Overseer. So what do we don't like? We have a lot of interaction. So maybe we're gonna cut a certain amount of sculptures and an embry. Let's do a lot, something like this. We have a ton of interaction. We have less good targets for Mystic Forge. Hello Alexander, I'm doing good. I'm three and one. Uh, playing the mirror and one up. They just had a very weird hand. Like well they had a hand that would have won against a lot of other decks, but against the mirror interesting hand um i'll keep it and play the amber turn too we have scales i mean this hand is just all right that's instant shield that's not the most scary turn one play i could i should cut one instant strings maybe but that helps you find ravager so you find a walker that's fine oh that's still seal that's awesome we can play hand scales and then play Play Emery. Oh yeah, that's good. So I can play Scales this turn and next turn play Ozolith and Darkseal Citadel and cast the Emery for X equals one. Well, for well, mana cost equals one. And then from there, if you don't have an answer for it, it's rough. That's a hanger back. Not even. Oh, still over here. That's good. That's good. And we did not draw the ceremony rejections. I don't know. Okay. So Darkseal Citadel that taps for the Ozolith. We play Embry, Lord of the Loch, and this is gold. And now our opponent is like, oh, this is so cool. Oh no, we didn't find any. That kind of sucks, to be honest. We, didn't, we put two Nature's Claims and two lands. Oops. So I'm doing good. So they can play Hangarback and Pump It, I guess. That's the drama, that's the line. That's Mimic. That could be scary. Because they can find a Valisa and then shoot our Embry down. Construct. Hang a luck. Huh. How much we can do? Ah, oh, skills. Mm, I think I need to cast the other Embry. Yeah, cast the other Embry. I will choose this one. I still got the trigger. Walking Ballista. It's mm, nice, you know. I should play the Pendle Hill, maybe. So. I will cast the Walking Ballista. Shoot down the Steel Overseer. We don't want those things around in here. We can get another Ballista next turn, I guess. Yeah, if they keep pumping, that's how we lose the game. Yeah, so they find Blink Moth Nexus. Do they get Lures in their hand? Oh, they have this member? Damn. They? they just took two damage. They have this member. Uh, well, that's sad, but... And we do. Avenger. Another still or shield, damn it. Uh yeah, probably Ballista or probably uh Ravager is our best draw by far. By, by far. Okay, that's not even that bad. Uh play the Pendle Haven. No, this is bad. Play Hunter Skill. Play the hangback. They can pump a ton, but again, Ravager was a kill. Actually, Ravager was a kill last time, so that's kind of fun. That's Ravager for them. 
That means that being ravaged is no longer killed. So three. I don't want to lose this hangout, man. To do to you. You open. You got pumped now. Why didn't they? On gas. Oh. So I don't want to use this. Maybe yeah, I do. I do, I think. So if they block, they actually cannot kill it. I mean, if they, if they suck first and they pump, they can, but then it's kind of a lot of waste. Attack. So I'll block and pump next turn, see if I don't die. I mean, there's very high chance I die. I think I'm dead on board, actually, but they can, blo they can block. I can block with the uh, Hangalak, with Inmod also. So they have three attackers, four. Okay, they even have the this. So they have four, three, six. This is four, da four extra damage that goes to the Ravager. That's six, seven, eight. Okay, that's not lethal, that's not lethal. Okay, so if we block here, okay, let's see what they attack with. So, if I block here, they pump, they get four counters here, sack, mm, that's five counters on here, that's seven, sack, that's eight, nine, and they move them here and then I'm dead. So, I actually think what I should be doing is blocking with the Inmath too. Yeah. So I'll block here with the Inmath, here with the, with the Hangavak, then that kind of forces their hand stacking things. Uh, yeah, priority. If they pass priority, I will do the thing. Yeah. Hmm. This has, ah, uh, of course, yeah. Oops, I did not see that one, anyway. Yeah. Of course, of course, yeah. Uh, I think they have more blockers than we have uh, attackers. I mean, fuck. Oh, damn it. Oh, if that ha didn't have the... May I misplayed. May I was supposed to just... Hmm. Ah, that was bad. So... Hey, MTG. How are you doing? Super slow today, the MTG. I don't know what's going on. So, play rabbit. Can't attack with anything. It's not good. Yeah, yeah I have more blockers than we have attackers. Just need to roll a lista. Yeah, maybe you have had 
Of course, I don't know what they had in hand, but if I had just blocked the Mimic, then there would be no way they could have killed us, right? This was 4, 9, 10, 11. A lot of push. That's it. Yeah, we're dead. They attack. We're gonna block everything. Ah, almost. Hmm. Okay. For the last, this is the last game of last match. Mystic Forge seems rather slow. Embry was really good. Seems that they can kind of. I just want to have more of this. Yeah, I think Nature's Claim we need to live in. I'm gonna cut two ancient ceilings. So I, I don't dilute my artifacts too much. I'm gonna bring in the steel overseer. I feel like this is fine. Let's go, let's go. Giovanni, no. Zero two. We're playing against. He's hazarded. The fervent. A ton of interaction, some acceleration. This hand, because this hand can beat, like they can, it can destroy almost anything they they bring in. So I guess it can just kill whatever, right? So So you have a uh, hand scales, we kill it. Yeah, it's hand scales. Yeah. We're just coming right back, but we're just ways away. You know, I think he's gonna play the steel overs here. We don't have an answer for it. Next turn we have Sculpture and Worker. Maybe something else. We also have the answer, so... One for one, I guess. Another hand in skills. So, play Yami Van, Yami Maya Coast, I guess. I'll play Yami Sculpture. That's kind of weak, eh? Sure. Worker. And then we have Nature's Coin. I'm gonna try to cast something. Yeah. I mean, if they cast a, if they cast a Ballista, will hundred percent sure. Twenty eight, so worth it. Only three cards in hand. Mystic Force will be the best, but we only have one in our deck. At least they don't have iron skills, that's something. But they have lures, and lures could be actually a problem. They have a third hand and skills? Come on, man. <laughs> you threw three hand and skills? Yeah. Some bad is coming. Who draws three hand and skills? I mean, be there actually. Next. Well, that's not great. Sorry, there was somebody in the room. Yeah, we're drawing our cards in the wrong order here. Um, yeah, we need to draw something next turn, like, or we are in deep trouble here. 
Floor is in the house. You know, block with a worker. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, they can get Lurus down next turn, get the Hanan skills back, yeah. I mean, this is just, we do five lines. So they get Lurus down, they get again Hanan skills. And this is not over, you know. Um, it's not over at all. And not Hanan skills. Two cards in hand still. Yeah, us not using our mana at all has been a problem. Uh, that's not the way we would like to go down. Yeah, come on. We drew six lands in a row. Something like this. I mean, so we play land here, play land here, and then scales. Land. Three. Land. So yeah, we, we have not missed a land drop. Did they name construct? So they have a ballista. I mean, we're super dead. Another ravager. Seems really bad, right? Don't attack. But we're dead. You can play this, I mean. Well, I guess I'll take it if they give us time. Okay, well, that's green. That's ancient things. Dude, if I find a Ravager, actually, we'll win. I think. What's an Arvon Ravager? Well, there's nothing else I can find, so. So. They have no block. I mean, they have maybe interaction. Okay, cancel. I need to pay one for the Ravager. May they have interaction? But I mean... I mean, we're dead anyway, no point of waiting. We were dead last turn, in fact. If this doesn't work with bet. So, if that last card they have is a fatal push, it will be. Yeah, we play. Okay, I mean they drew three hundred scales and two claims as well, so yeah. Literally the last card in the hand. Literally the last card. Yeah, Blood Moon of course is much rougher with this game, but still most of our cards are kind of like colorless, right? So literally the last card they had in hand. Chat, this was the this was the leak. Thanks for watching. Um, on this last match, I think the hand that I kept was a bit too reactive for being on the play. I think even if the hand had the right pieces, it kind of lacked kind of the this ability to to start putting uh, pressure on the on our on their opponent. But yeah, May mulliganing also was not the, well, not the greatest idea. I think we took a bit of bad beats uh, this game. Upon misplay, they could have killed us uh, the turn before. So this last turn, Nature's Claim, it's like, yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed MV. I really enjoyed it. I, I think I'll play it again. I think this was a fun, fun little variation on the classical Harlan scales. And the games they worked, it really worked. And the games that didn't work, I think maybe if we work a bit on the sideboard, we can get it to work even on the, especially on the John matchup. I think we should, we should try to shoot up on the Devils of Summer, maybe two or three. That would really make the matchup so much better because if you play an Embry for one mana and then you hold on Veil and then try to do some something to the Embry or like a Cooligan's Command to 
an embryo and an artifact and you just stop it with bail it's like i mean i mean that's amazing all the time with scales but normally we're not so susceptible to this kind of uh removal spells as we were with embry so anyway thanks for watching please like comment subscribe i will see you next time it's getting late i'm getting i'm i'm pushing and pushing more these days but whatever it's okay one video every day here on my channel